Hello and welcome beautiful scorpion shapes. I am excited that you're back here on my channel because today we will learn the beautiful shape called helix. And before I'm going to say anything anymore, let's just take a look at what this looks like. Feeling better than today means the beginning of a brighter day. Letting in the feeling mending what we break. Find the solace in the you control the way you see the world. We've come so far. Little backstory to this trick because this is the first intermediate trick that I learned because <laughs> I was joining in in Poland's classes when I first started, as you do in beginner but I already had background in dancing, in acrobatics, in weightlifting, so I already had basically like all the prerequisites, so I could level up quite um, fast. So maybe it was like my fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, I don't really remember, but it was quite at the start where I joined a pole workout, a pole session, um, but nobody showed up except for me, so the teacher and I were alone, and the teacher obviously knew that I um, had already a bit more strength, so she taught me the helix, and now I'm going to teach it to you. And it's not super difficult, um, but it's a super beautiful shape, especially if you do it on spinning. We'll learn it on, on static first and then go on to spinning. The only thing that you need to have for this one is a invert, yeah? Maybe also an outside leg hook, if you got that down perfect, then you will get to this trick in no time, all right? Without further ado, let's get to the pole, bring it on static, and let's see what beautiful creation we can create today. So the first thing you want to be doing is to be doing an outside leg hang. If I'm standing on the right side of my pole, your right leg wants to be hooked. So let's go from there. Invert, outside leg hang, and from here you want to pull your upper body up, whoops, so that you really get this grip on your side and also basically in your armpit. Okay, so from here, you can let that right hand, that outside hand go. Oops, beautiful shape right here. Can go a bit into your back bend if you want. And from here, we will get this momentum, right? So you're down, swinging up. So now you grab with the same arm as the leg that's hooked up on top. And the other hand, which is still down, so your inside hand, pretty much. You want to reach under that hook leg and on top, yeah? So from here, the grip is gonna change a little bit. You want to release the upper hand and the pull is gonna be squeezing against your lower arm right here as you lower your upper body back, okay? So, Let's explain this again on the floor. Maybe it's going to be a little bit more easy and you can also try to do this on the floor. So basically, let's lie down together. Hook leg that wants to be hooked, right? So now from down here, you want to give that momentum, bring yourself up. From here, that, that hand that is down wants to re reach in between and up, okay? So that your hand is not basically like stuck in your knee, okay? But it wants to be up. So now as you lower yourself back down, because that's what you wanna do, you will probably notice that you don't have as much grip in that hand anymore. It's going to shift down a little bit and the will reach your arm. And because of that, and because your leg is there, this will create a really, really nice angle for you. So basically just hold on, don't let go. The more you let yourself down and the more you allow for this pressure of the arm and the pole to be there, the safer you will be, okay? So you're here, you've just grabbed. And what I do is before I lower myself, I am bringing that back leg towards me, reach for that leg, and then both together. So let's try this again. I'm gonna rotate, switch the side a little bit. So you want to invert once again, up, hook, 
let go, momentum up, reach through. And now from here, you can reach your toe, right? And then let yourself fall back whee, <laughs> into your back bend. Nice. If you want to come out, grab with your right hand on top or that hand that is holding on, on top. Let go of that bottom arm, really squeeze in this leg, reach under or up, doesn't matter. And from here, you can basically do a little pull up, bringing both legs towards one side, rotate down. Yeah, there are obviously many more things you can do from here, but that's like the easiest way to just get out of it. All right, let's try it together on spinning. You can rotate forward or backward, it doesn't really matter. See what feels more natural to you. I also have a video up on how to invert on the spinning pole. So if you don't quite know how, give that a try as well, okay? You can go from climb, you can also just start from the bottom depending on how far up you want to go. I'm just gonna invert from the ground up and then do the helix, yeah? It's quite of an easy procedure, okay? As soon as you're in your outside leg hang, just grab under, really hold that connection, pressing your lower arm against the pole. The hooked leg also helps with your grip and then go as far into your back bend as you can. Shall we try it on spinning? If you feel comfortable, stay low to the ground and if you need a spotter or some mats, please do so. Okay, let's get ready. Let's start spinning. Don't spin too much on the first try. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get really dizzy. Okay, let's do this. Now let go, let the feeling take its toll. We've worked so hard, now don't you know? This is music for the soul. Alrighty, that's it for today. In the next video, or one of the next videos, I will be showing you a combo from this Helix. So, if you want to learn how to integrate this into your routine, stay tuned. I'll see you very soon. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything, and I will see you. Bye-bye.